and it's far too early to be starting work. When I say it's far too early, it's uh, half past 11. <laughs> but um, I didn't wake up in time for my lecture. I feel really shit about that, but I can't help that now, can I? I can get the slides online and I'll, I'll write them up probably when I'm, like at the weekend when I'm coming back up here on the train. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting up today, getting straight back in and trying to finish this um, project plan. Oh my god! <laughs> um, Tim has just forwarded me an email um, that I've received as well, um, but he, he's the one who's let me know that the project plan, which is what I'm doing right now, has been, because of all the strikes, has been like the deadline they've put forward, like backward a month. A month! I have an extra month to do this work. I've been stressing about it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's made me so happy. Tim's just messaged me telling me to shut up. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> it means I don't need to stress anymore. Oh, it means I could do it over Easter. Oh, I'm going to do it now. I can't, I, like, I've got into the swing of it. I'm going to do, like, try and get as much of it done now. But now I have more time to refine it. And it means I have more time to send it to my supervisor to help me out with it. Oh. Yes. So that now means I can do less work each day. Like, I'll still do a lot of work each day, but I can slow it down. I can take my time with it. I can refine it even better, make it really good. Um, it means that I can have more spare time for myself to, like, play Xbox and stuff. I haven't played for, for over a week. Uh, and you know I like playing. Um, yeah, I haven't played for over a week, apart from with Sam at the weekend, um, because I've been worried about, well, getting this deadline done. But now I can have some chill time by myself. <sighs> like... I, I, I thought the, the strikes were meant to disrupt you, <laughs> but apparently not. Um, they're actually helping me out, which is a stupid thing, because to be honest, the strikes are, are stupid. They shouldn't have to strike. There should be a lot of, there should be a better system. I feel really bad for the lecturers, so I understand why they're striking. Um, <clears throat> but wow, I mean, wow, that's made me so happy. It means I can have a, a much more relaxing weekend at home with my family. Um, which is all I really wanted. I just wanted a nice Easter, like, birthday weekend for my granddad, uh, where I didn't need to be stressing. And now I can do that. That's, that's fantastic. I'm trying to book my trip back from home, uh, like, this weekend after I go to my granddad. And um, it's a Sunday, so trains are, like, take a long time, yeah. The cheapest ticket for me to get a train from home to uh, Bangor is um, £45. Which is quite a lot anyway. Like that's quite a lot in itself. But it's gonna cost me forty-five pounds and it's gonna take me fourteen hours. What? Fourteen hours? I don't know what to do. I'm looking at taking a plane. Like I'm literally looking at trying to get a plane to Manchester and then a train to Bangor and seeing how the prices compare. Like Oh, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? In terms of taking less time. It is a lot more viable for me to take a plane. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, in order to do a, a relatively quick uh, trip home that's like seven and a half hours, it's going to cost me £94. But to take a plane, um, that will take me about six hours. Like, the, the plane takes about an hour, and then the trains afterwards take four, nearly five. That's just ridiculous in itself. That will cost me about 70 so I'm just I just don't know what to do. Um, oh, for fuck's sake! Why are trains so expensive? Well, I've travelled on Sundays before and they're never this expensive. I don't get it. Right, I think I'm gonna go cook myself my dinner because then at least like I have it ready. Because I think I'm probably gonna take it up to Ellie's to eat. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get my stuff. I'm gonna make like a vegetable pasta. I think I might put tuna in it, but I've only got one can of tuna left, so I'm not really sure if I want to use it up or not. We shall see. So, there's I go. So in my pasta there will be onion, carrot, pepper, more pepper, potato, and where is it? Uh, pasta! <laughs> so let's get frying up and I'll see you when it's done. So I finished making my pasta. I made like enough that I can take up to Ellie's so for my dinner and then I made a fuckload more. <laughs> So it means I have easy food for the next couple of days um, and even like some to take home uh, to eat on the journey home and um, yeah it's pretty sick. I'm now going to go and get my things ready because as I say I'm eating at Ellie's tonight so yeah. 
and to get like my work and maybe like a book to read, my uh, my books I haven't read in a couple of weeks, even though I really enjoyed it, um, which is Hitchhiker's Guide. Uh, I'm still like not very far into the book and I really enjoyed it and yet I haven't touched it really. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take that up with me uh, as well as my work, obviously. And we're going to go and find Ellie. So let's go get things ready. Booked my train back up to here on Sunday. I'm leaving at 12 midday. Uh, it's going to cost like £46, which isn't too bad. It's going to take nine hours though, which is which is bad. Um, but um, really, really kindly because they haven't they haven't forced me to come down at all. Um, like this is all my decision. I really wanted to come down and see Pa for his birthday, um, but Mum and Dad have said that they'd um, they'll pay my fare, which is fantastic. So uh, there were quicker times, but they were like hundred like hundred pound, and I was not going to let them pay for that. So I decided to do a longer journey, but a lot cheaper. So very 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 thankful to my family for for saying they'd pay for it. Uh, so yeah, I've I've booked my train. Uh, it is going to be. Getting back here at like 9 o'clock in the evening, uh, so it's, it's basically exactly 9 hours long this train, so, or this train, uh, it goes bus, train, train, bus, train, but oh well, what can we do, and yeah, I think I'm going to get my stuff ready to go see Ellie, because Ellie's really, Ellie's been messaging me while I was called, uh, calling my dad, um, like, where are you, what are you doing, help me, I'm all alone. I should probably go and see her at some point. Also, the vlog's very late, so I need to get up to hers as soon as possible to upload it. Uh, let's grab, gather my stuff, and we'll get going. Da -da 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 -da. Hello. Ah. Hello and welcome to Ellie Bakes a Pie. <laughs> Today, we will be showcasing Ellie's incredible cooking skills as Ellie tries to make a what kind of pie? Mushroom. A mushroom pie. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be. It's been open for a week. It probably is. Here we see Ellie peeling an onion with her hands. <laughs> <laughs> she is so skilled at this. She can do it without looking. I hate when it's all slimy. <laughs> I don't think it's going to go very well. I'm sure it'll be fine. It looks good. It looks just like a pie. <laughs> It's actually really nice. Is it? <laughs> okay. Okay. Because you need to put it in the oven. Well, no, they're just sort of like the chewy. That is really good. Look at your pie, it looks so good. Look at that. <laughs> Yummy green, very green pie. Yeah, I hope the spinach is going to be alright. It's going to cook, so. It's going to cook, it is going to cook. It'll be better than the cake. Meat. So you decided to make cookies. Is it good? Yeah, it's so good. Just randomly decided to make cookies. <laughs> cookies. Yeah. Looks like a fruit. Very fluffy food. To be fair, the mixture feels like cake. Like it already feels like cake, but it's not cake. It's a cookie. We'll probably turn it into a cake, maybe. We'll just try that next week. What, how, what do you add to make it more, more cake like? Is it less flat? A little bit, not really strong though. Yeah. yeah so, it's mm. so, look at that. How do you feel? It's really nice. So, meanwhile, I've got this shitty pasta I made earlier, and Ellie's made this amazing pie. Well, with your help. With the, not really. I only did like the mashed potato on the side, which I like brushed to make it look funny. Like waves. Is it really nice though? Like, do you really mm -hmm. like it? Because I tried a tiny bit and it was so good. You've done a really good job, Pooks. Uh, whose recipe did you follow? Do you want to plug it? It's like something Buddha. Something Buddha? The Buddhist chef, I think. The Buddhist chef? I don't know, how can you. You go on the channel. The, the Buddhist, Buddhist chef. chef? Yeah, Buddhist chef. Yeah, showed Ellie. 21. How to make this pie. Subscribers. 21,000. Yeah, tw <laughs> they only have 21,000 subscribers, Ellie. How many do you have? None. How many do I have? Hardly any. Oh, that's the cookies. Let's, let's go look at the cook. Let's go. So unfortunate. Yummy. 
Look like lava, like, crack to the top. Yeah. Looks amazing. Well done. Is it thin I'm such an idiot! These are so nice. They're really, like, soft. They're almost like cakes, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like, almost like brownies, they're that thick. Mm -hmm. You could definitely just make this a brownie mix. Mm -hmm. If you made it more, like, chocolatey, in terms of how much chocolate chunk you put in it. It'd make it more chocolatey. Oh, so, like, so nice. They taste good. Mm. <laughs> they're actually so... Ellie. The cake we made before was shit. You're cooking today. It's been excellent. Mm. So proud of that. <laughs> I'm gonna stop the video with my nose. Mm. And well, <laughs> thanks nose, because uh, after that I didn't record anything else. So, uh, who's <laughs> Ellie's laughing? Oh, why are you laughing? You're the, one, you're the one who forgot to help me record. You're meant to be my sidekick in the, don't, don't do that. Um, yeah, I forgot to record anything else, so. I didn't even say goodnight, no, but I'm gonna say goodnight now. Oh, it's just Says you, how many videos have you uploaded this two weeks? None? None, exactly. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the video for today, obviously. So if you've enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Fuck you all. <laughs>